Oh, it's excellent. It's incredible that they've created a program where kids can learn about like curriculum expectations related to water systems or their environment, but be able to do it like with a hands-on approach. And then locally too, sometimes the conversation of global climate environment can be too big to really wrap your hands around. So um, for the kids to be able to, to do this and interact with London issues and London water system processes, it's incredible. The first step of using this net is finding a stream, like the one behind me, and getting your net and sticking it in having it like that, then kick, but eventually bring, some, bring it up, and I caught nothing, but you might catch a fish over there. I've caught a crayfish and a rainbow darter and a few other species of fish. Cool, we kind of um, looked at the fish and saw the invertebrates and seen what they were, and we examined the water and send the temperatures and that. Start staff got really excited when we heard about moving forward about the, the sponsorship with the green program and uh, not just because of the meaning behind it and how kids get to come out and do some exciting work with the stream but because we're actually part of it as well coming out and helping with the whole program. We caught a lot of fish and we, we had nets where we would look through the riffles and we like documented and charted like temperatures of the water and saw all these cool little bugs. Students are um, interacting with a creek to get really get kind of a, a micro look at some of the water issues and then what's neat about this program is that we go on another field trip and then see the water treatment process or wastewater and what happens with that. 